Hey, this is my 2011 Jeep JK. I just bought a brand new pair of LED Daymaker headlights and fog lights. Gonna install them, let's take a look at them first. Okay, I moved them down here so we can see a little better on the camera. Uh, comes in a plain back black box. They are, again, they're called the uh, Daymakers. They're DOT approved. It's headlights and fog lights. I paid $140 for them. I will leave a link below if anybody's interested. Comes with a set of instructions. Two fog lights and the wiring harnesses. Look at the headlights. Here's the headlight. That's what it looks like. And this also comes with an adapter harness. All right. Let's get to the Jeep. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the front grill off. And that's real easy. There's these little black tabs here. There's six of them. You just pull them off and they come right out and the grill will come off. Okay, six tabs off. Okay, so the next part, this is nice and loose here. Now, this should pull right out. There's clips under here. There you go. I can also unplug these light bulbs. They come right out, and that lifts right out. Okay, the headlight has f four mounting screws for this ring. Uh, again, mine is a 2011. This screw is a, a T15 Torx. So, take these out. Okay, now the ring should light comes right out and as I can see the wiring is very tight push that red clip up there we go okay so the first thing it says to do is install the adapter this is going to go from the OEM plug to the plug that fits on the headlight now that was really bad getting that off so I'm going to just put a touch of dielectric grease on there plug that in push the red tab down and then that's locked in and I'm going to put a little dielectric grease on the new plug too Okay, the second part says to install with the arrow up. Well, this doesn't have an arrow, but it does have a DOTSAE, and I'm going to assume that's up the way it's written. So we're going to take the ring, which fits that way, and put it on the headlight. Turn this over, plug this in, okay, nice and tight. Put the wiring in here. Okay, tighten it up. Make sure it's in the ring properly. Now, before I put the grill back on, I'm going to have to adjust these. 
Make sure they're pointing, they're not pointing up or down. There's an adjustment screw right here, and that will raise and lower the light, and that's also a T15 bit. Okay, we got the driver's side light off. Same thing, I'm gonna use a little dielectric grease on the connections. This side was actually stuck in here, even worse than the passenger side. Okay, so the first step is to connect my adapter. Okay, what I didn't exactly highlight on the passenger side, there's these three square tabs on the new LED light, and they actually fit into three square tabs here. So I'm going to line them up. It'll press in. I'll actually fit in there like that. And you know you got it exactly the straight. And we'll put the ring on. And screw it in. Both the headlights in. I'm going to clean this mess up and we'll see how difficult it is to get to these fog lights from underneath. Okay, so I needed to remove the plastic air dam underneath the uh, Jeep and it's got six plugs just like the uh, front grill did. Just plastic plugs, you pull them out and this drops down. This lets you get up behind here, but it is tight and it looks like four Phillips screws. So I'm going to go and take them out and uh, get the new ones in. Okay, so it's underneath and I got the driver's side fog light out and guess what? With the housing, it will not fit out of here. So I had to come up here and this plastic cover, I had to take the pins out of that and move it over so I can come in here and I don't know if you can see in there. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to grab that light and then I'll come through this hole here. As you can see, it's the only way to get it out. You cannot get it, at least in my Jeep, with that uh, sway bar. It doesn't, there's no way to get it out of there. So, we're going from the top. Okay, same thing. This is the wiring harness. I put some dielectric grease on that. Attach it to the new fog light. And this wiring harness that's included will attach right to the OEM plug. So I'm going to go back underneath, plug it in, and get it back in. Okay, I have the fog lights in, and I will say it was uh, much more difficult than the headlights. It's very tight back there on uh, the JK stock bumper. And due to the uh, anti-sway bar there, you can barely get any type of visual with your head in there. So you're kind of working blind. But it's only four small screws, each one, and then just plug them in. So they're in. Now let me put all this back together and uh, we'll see how it looks finished. Okay, the headlights are in. They look great off. Nice dark look. Definitely an improvement. I'll go turn them on and we can take a look at how they look on. Okay, and that's with them on. Nice and bright. Everything works. Fog lights are super bright. Looks good. Again, I only paid $140 for these. They work nice. The headlights installed, no problem. The fog lights were definitely a little more difficult uh, just because of the limited space back there with the OEM bumper. Uh, I would say if you're just doing the headlights, uh, literally would have taken me 20 minutes. Headlight, uh, the fog lights made it a 90 minute job, but all works good. They came with all the harnesses required to attach to the OEM plugs. And the fog lights even came with a raw harness in case you never had them before you can connect them. So that came with two harnesses. Again, $140, I'll leave a link below where I got them. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.